Hey everyone, in today's app of the day video, I wanna show you how to use Zoom on the mobile device. Now, Zoom also has a desktop version for Mac and PC. You could get that at zoom.us, and I have a different video about that. I'll put that in the link in the description below this video. But the Zoom iOS and Android app, you could just get in the Apple or Google Play Store by just searching the word Zoom. And I'm gonna show you how to join a meeting. That's pretty straightforward, but I really wanna show you how to host a meeting and all the different features the video sharing and the file sharing options have inside of the Zoom. If you're part of a meeting that you're joining or you're hosting your own meeting. So again, look for Zoom. It's called Zoom Cloud Meetings here and download the app. And on the homepage of the app, you could go ahead and join a meeting. That's just by pressing join and you need a meeting ID. Now the organizer of the meeting should have emailed you or send you that already. So you need to go ahead and type that in under meeting ID or from a personal link name. You need to, those two. And then you need to rename your name here. If it's set up like mine is, you could just change it to your name here and then press return. And then you could on the bottom join with audio or with video, or you could have both of them turned off. So if you're just listening in and you don't wanna to contribute to the meeting or you don't have to contribute, you could go ahead and turn those off. It's that simple to join a meeting, but let's go ahead and sign up because we're gonna host our own meeting. So now you either press sign up if you don't have a Zoom account, and if you have one on the desktop at zoom.us, you could go ahead and sign in. It's pretty much the same process after that. So I'll just go ahead and sign in since I already signed up on the website. And I'm gonna give us some access here to my phone's calendar and to send me notifications. And now this is the home page of the app. So let me show you the most useful options here. On top, you could set up a new meeting. You could join an existing meeting, the same thing we had on the home page of the app. You could schedule a meeting or share your screen. So let's go over one of these right now. Let's press new meeting. That's the thing we wanna do first. We wanna do it with video on. And do we wanna use a personal meeting ID? In this case, I'm gonna keep it off and I'm gonna say start a meeting. And I have to give it access to my camera here, so I'm gonna press okay, and my microphone. And at this point, if you look on top here, you have your meeting ID, the room number here, and the password. You do have to share that with other people in order for them to join this meeting. And the first thing you'll need to do is you need to invite some people here. So I'm gonna press participants on the bottom of the page here, and I'm the host here, and I'm gonna go ahead and invite people, press invite, and these are all the different options you have for inviting people. You could send them an email, a message. You could invite them from your contact list if they're on your phone's contact or copy URL here. And once you invite people here, the other options you have, they'll join you here. You could go ahead and stop video. Now they could still hear you, but they can't see your video here. So that's the video option here. Then you could also press share content. If you press that, look at all these different options you have for sharing content from using Dropbox to Microsoft OneDrive to website URL to sharing your screen and photos. All these options are available. So if I was to share a photo, I could just go ahead and give it access to my photos and it will send it that way. And there's this really interesting options that most people don't utilize, but if you press the more option, the three dots here, let me go ahead and press that. There is a virtual background option. So as you can see, I could have a virtual background here and I could also add my photos here. If I was demonstrating something that was related to that, I could go ahead and do that. Let me remove this and let me close this page. And let me go ahead and end this call to show you some of the other options. This is basically everything you need to know here. But what's important is that meeting ID you have on top and the password that you'll have to share with other participants via messages or email for them to join you here. And again, on top, you have the join option. That's the one I'll press. Again, that's the meeting ID I just showed you where to get. So the organizer of the meeting has to send you that and the password, put your name down here. We'll already looked at this page. You could schedule a meeting if you press that. It's gonna get access to your calendar here. Again, I'm on my iCalendar here. My personal meeting ID is here, but I'll go ahead and schedule one just using this. This is pretty straightforward here on what you have to do and just press down on top when you're ready. Screen share option, if you press that, it's gonna connect it to your screen here. And then again, you wanna share your key or meeting ID from a Zoom room that's already in existence. So you can't do this yet if you haven't set up one or someone didn't invite you to one. So you'll do that in the new meeting options where we looked at sharing your screen. You could add contacts here right in the center. So if you're gonna use this repeatedly, it's great to go ahead and add contacts from your list here. On the bottom, you have meetings. This will show you your personal meeting ID if someone asks for that. You could send invitations to your personal meeting room here. And then you have meet and chat 
When you start a conversation, you could go ahead and start your meetings and chat right over here once you add any contacts. And under settings, you could go ahead and change some of these over here, like your default meeting settings here. So auto connect to audio is off, so I don't accidentally have people listen to something I wasn't ready to show them. Always turn off my video is off right now. I could go ahead and turn that off. So again, I don't accidentally share my video. So some of these options you could look at and see which one works best. You could also sync your calendar here right now. It's on disable. So some useful options in that room. And if you do want the desktop version, again, I have a totally different video about that and I'll put that in the description below this video. So check out that video, the desktop version, I like it a little bit better, especially if I'm using this for work, it's a little bit more professional than holding your phone. I hope you found this app of the day video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I make these type of videos multiple times a week and I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.